As we saw in the previous movie, the income statement is broken into two sections, revenue and expense. The revenue section lists all of the income associated with the products and services that we sell. The expense section lists all of the expenses associated with operating your business. In addition to revenue and expense, the income statement also contains cost of goods sold. The cost of goods sold is a figure reflecting the cost of the product or service that your business sells to generate revenue. This expense appears on the income statement as a separate line item. The reason this expense is kept separate is so you can track what you are making on the products and services that you sell. To give you an example, let's say we sold a coffee mug for $10, but it costs $4 to purchase. Our revenue is $10 for the sale. Our cost of goods sold is $4. We subtract the cost of goods sold from the revenue and are left with a gross profit of $6, or what's also known as a gross margin of 60%. The $6 is the amount of money we made on the sale once we deduct the cost of the product. In using our sample income statement, we can see that our total income was $11,500. However, it cost us $1,900 to buy the items we are selling. Because we know the cost of the items, we can see that our true revenue or gross profit was only $9,600 or an 83% gross margin. Finally, once we deduct the rest of our expenses, we will know our net profit, which is the money we made for the period. As you can see, keeping track of the cost of the products and services that you are selling will allow you to measure your profitability on those items. This information will help you make smart business decisions in targeting those products and services that you sell that make you the most money.